Hey dancers, on October 4th from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, I'm hosting a flexibility workshop. This is two gorgeous hours of flexibility stretches, warm-ups, tips, tricks, hacks, all of the above taught by yours truly. We're really gonna focus on full body flexibility. So we're gonna get that back flexible, we're gonna work on our feet, we're gonna work on side and center splits. That's right, the splits. So for those of you that are kind of struggling or maybe you've plateaued on your flexibility progress, this is the event for you. And you guys, I lowered my ticket prices. So early bird tickets are only $15, that's it. And those are limited to the first 50 purchasers, so don't waste time. The regular tickets are just $20. So you get two hours of live dance content. You're gonna leave feeling amazing, inspired, motivated, and above all, more flexible. Um, and I'll be available to answer questions in live time. So if you're on Instagram, swipe up to get your ticket. If you're on YouTube, click the link in the video description and I can't wait to see you there. Hi, gorgeous humans. Welcome back to another episode of Dancers Corner. Today we're gonna be talking about how to find the right dance studio. Also like classic dancer just sitting in like the weirdest position, it's fine. Um, you guys, finding the right dance studio is crucial to your dance journey. Um, it's the place that you're going to be training. It's the dancers you're around, the teachers that are guiding you along your path. Um, it's kind of an intense decision. So I thought that it would be, um, I thought it would be important to touch upon this topic and to give my advice on how finding the right studio can actually be a really fun and easy process. Um, so let's get, let's get, let's get started. <laughs> uh, okay, so you can go through your like classic means of research. This is just word of mouth. So hearing it from other dancers in your community, excuse me, drinking ginger ale. Um, it could be Yelp, you're like, dance studio, look at places that are um, highly rated. It could be Facebook, it could be social media. Um, like you're really just looking at like the classic ways to find places. Um, I think that although this is a good, or those are good um, jumping off points, starting points, um, it's not necessarily like an end all be all that those studios will be um, a good fit for you. So. I think if you're like super starting from scratch, okay, um, use those classic means of, of research to find places um, to just have a, a, a starting point, okay? The second thing I want you guys to do is to research the teachers that are at the studio, not in like a creepy way or being like overly analytical, but the teachers at the studio are I mean, they're everything. They really are. So most studios, hopefully, should have a website and they should have like a staff page or like meet our team, meet our teachers. Um, go find some of the teachers, okay? Maybe look up, definitely read their bios, definitely read their bios and look up where they studied. Like where did they, what did I write down? Yeah, where did they get their experience? Where did they get their um, their background in dance? Um, I think, the, seriously, one of the craziest thing in the world, I really think, is that dancers and dance teachers, or dance teachers, I mean, don't need a certification. They don't need any sort of like piece of paper or requirement saying like, hey, I can teach dance in a, safe and effective way. Um, it's pretty much anybody can be a dance teacher, which is cool because it opens up the possibilities to other people, but it also is a little scary because your teacher might not know what they're doing. Um, and I don't mean that in a mean way. I just, you know, maybe go for teachers that have been teaching for a long time, teachers that have, um, certifications from other programs or dance degrees or they were professional dancers themselves their credits are like you know undeniably awesome um 
it's okay to be picky on who's teaching you how to dance because this is something that like you love. It's something you're taking seriously. So you would want your teacher to be someone who understands the depths of dance, someone who understands anatomy and how the body works so that you're safe in class and you're not being vulnerable um, to injury. Um, and someone who knows the path to get you to where you want to go. Um, so just keep that in mind. Um, okay. The next thing is the type of studio, you guys. You have your like recreational community center studios. Totally fine, gorgeous. You can learn dance there too. You have your competitive studios, the ones that are like double elite platinum, every competition, okay, they're super intense. And then you have like your mix. Maybe it's a studio that has like cute little kitty classes, but they also have a comp team. Um, and then, you know, you could have studios that are specialized, like a ballroom studio or a ballet academy. Um, it's important to first gather your intent with dancing. Um, is this something that, like, you want as a hobby? Is this something that you want as a serious passion? Is this something that you want as your future career? Um, Knowing your intention with dance will help you choose the type of studio culture you want to step into. So if you're someone who's like, you know, you just want to dance a little bit, you want to take like one ballet class a week, don't worry so much about being at like a top tier dance studio. Just go find a studio that offers the classes you want, has a pretty good teacher, and that you can enjoy class in. Um, if you're someone who wants to like be a professional dancer or a professional ballerina, you need to go somewhere that's specialized to a ballet academy, a theater school that, that will feed you into professional companies. Um, so, or you want to compete, make sure you go somewhere that has a solid competition program. Um, it's important for you to know your intent so that, can you guys hear my dog snoring in the background? I can't, she's been snoring through all my videos. Um, anyway, it's important to know your intent so that you can pick the studio culture that best, that will best facilitate you achieving the goal that is attached to your intent. Okay. All right, you guys, the next thing that you're going to do is take a trial class. So you are going to get out of your comfort zone. You're going to go take a trial class. Um, this trial class will be so telling. Okay, I want you to look for a few things. Number one, most important is how do you feel? When you enter the studio, do you feel warmth? Do you feel positivity? Do you feel friendliness? Do you feel encouraged? Um, it's going to be a little nerve wracking no matter what. Excuse me again. But you should feel that there is a sense of community there. You don't want to go to a studio where people are like, cold and you're it's like unorganized or stuff everywhere because a lot of dance studios um nobody approaches you to like say hey are you here for a trial class like that's that's not the vibe that we're going for okay the vibe that we are going for is a place that offers you um encouragement and welcomes you with open arms um so how you feel is important Number two, there's like logistical stuff. Is the studio organized? Okay. Are the teachers on time? Um, do they have the correct flooring for a dance studio? It should hopefully be Marley floor. Okay. If you don't know what that is, go look it up. Um, and it should be soft, like a sprung floor when you're jumping on it. If you're, if you're dancing on like hard wood that's not meant for dance or there is like cracks in the floor and bumps and stuff like no hate to those studios but like that might not be the best place for you um so you want to look at stuff like that as well um so go in go take a trial class explore styles and explore the different teachers there um choose someone that you'll really connect with if you are to take class with them the whole year um, all right, what else did I write, Miss Ati? Ooh, okay, there's things that are important to me that might not be important to you. Um, I am, I pride myself on being very professional, just like in general life, but especially with career stuff. Um, and I look at studios like, is the dress code enforced? 
Um, is class etiquette enforced? Are there kids just kind of like their hair is a mess and they're just like eating goldfish in the corner, like while class is starting, you know, um, that kind of stuff is important to me. So if I was like a brand new dancer or a returning dancer and I'm picking a studio, I would really, really pay attention to how organized the space is. Is the teacher on time? Is the teacher prepared? Are kids wearing the like, are they wearing ballet leotards and tights? Are they wearing the right shoes? Is their hair back? Um, are people talking in the middle of class? Because I wouldn't want to learn in an environment like that, um, that doesn't have those things. I would want to learn in an environment that is organized, professional, has um, an enforced dress code, has kids on time, the teacher is prepared, because all of those things are going to equal progression for you. So just think about that stuff, you guys. Um, all right, last but not least is the energy. And it sounds so cheesy, but the energy that you feel in the space, listen to it, you guys. I, you know, even as a teacher and choreographer, like if I'll go to a studio, I will know literally from walking in whether that's somewhere I want to work or not. Um, and it's not in a judgmental sense. It's just this kind of like, like chest and gut feeling that are like, mm, no. Or like, yes, I love the energy. I love like, I don't know, I just love, I kind of hate the word vibes, but like just the, the vibe is aligned with mine. Um, and the thing is, you guys, you won't know that until you go take a trial class. So do your due diligence, do, do your due diligence, what is happening to me? Let me start over. Okay. Do your due diligence. <laughs> And research the studio, look at the teachers, check them out, um, go take a trial class, look at logistical things like flooring, dress code, etiquette, but also pay attention to how you feel. Is the teacher prepared? How are students there? Are you um, like intimidated or do you feel welcomed? Um, and then go off of your energy. Um, trust, your, trust your intuition. Uh, the last thing I'll say is don't rush, you guys try different places and make an informed decision. Um, there's no need to rush. Um, it's going to, it's going to be so worth it when you find a place that just becomes your second home. It's like, there's no other feeling like it. I have that with, um, my home studio up North capital dance company. I'm obsessed with them and up North in California, by the way. Um, it's just this, like, <laughs> makes me like emotional, but it's just this like really, safe place where you learn and you grow and you make mistakes but you get right back up and um even through hardships like in the space it's it's still just this second home and I want that for all of you so go make the best decision on finding the right studio for you do the research do the work but go off of that gut feeling once you take a trial class so I love you guys and our quote of the day is the distance between dreams and reality is called action. The distance between dreams and reality is called action. So go take that action step and find the best studio for you. Go take that action step and um, be, be one little step closer to achieving your goals. Um, yeah. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to get a ticket to my flexibility workshop, October 4th. I cannot wait to you guys. We're going to work on your splits and full body uh, flexibility and it's only $15. So go get your ticket.